If you want to be a professional gunsmith, you need to check out the Colorado School of Trades. In this video, I'll give you an overview of all of their programs. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. A while back, I announced our official partnership with the Colorado School of Trades. I thought this would be a great synergy because the kind of things that I do in my gunsmithing shop and that I show here on the channel are things that you can learn at the Colorado School of Trades. So you're going to want to check out that kickoff video for kind of a more broad overview and a little bit of the backstory on the partnership. Now I'm really excited because in a couple of weeks I'm going to Colorado to visit the Colorado School of Trades and I'm going to get in-depth coverage and hands-on experience, meet the people and learn in-depth about the programs that they offer. In this video, I kind of wanted to give you just the high level overview, that sort of 30,000 foot view of what you will learn if you join their program. Okay, so briefly, and this is from our kickoff video, Colorado School of Trades was founded in 1947. They have a huge 20,000 square foot facility. They've got experienced instructors and it's an, an accelerated express two year program. You're gonna learn a lot in a little bit of time and it's gonna give you that hands-on competitive edge where you'll learn things like machining and Cerakote, things that you can't get if you're not there in person at a school with those tools and machines. This is really, really good stuff. So for more on that, check out that kickoff video. Next, let's talk about the programs starting with basics. Now this is really important that you have a solid grasp on the fundamentals. And for each of these programs, I'm gonna give you kind of the broad view of the high level topics that will be discussed and things that you're gonna learn, and then I'm gonna give you my picks, right? Where I'm at right now in my gunsmithing career, if I could go hang out the, at the Colorado School of Trades for a couple months, kind of the things that I would wanna study and that I would personally wanna learn that I haven't learned yet. Okay, so basics. Precision measurement, this is something that you absolutely need to be able to do and need to be able to do re with really good precision, right? Repeatability. Drill press, hand tools, reading and writing blueprints, that is a really important one. Here at Ultimate Reloader, we are starting to use CAD to 3D model the gunsmithing jobs that we do and from the 3D models we create blueprints, right? When I step up to the lathe or the mill and I'm going to do some hardcore precision machining, that blueprint is kind of my lifeline. So to have that understanding of what that language is, that visual and mathematical language is super important. So you'll learn how to read and to create blueprints, which is absolutely awesome. An overview of manufacturing processes, things like tap charts, shop math. Like if you don't know trig, you need to at least know how to use tables because machining uses trig. A lot of times on the lathe, you're gonna come in at an angle. You need to know, if I come in at this angle, what is that gonna take off the diameter, right? Well, it's gonna cut off the radius at an angle, and there's the cosine of this angle, it's gonna take off two times, right? So you might not be able to do that from scratch, but you at least need to know how to look at a table and calculate what is the effect of this machining maneuver. And you know, these drill and tap charts, I use that stuff absolutely all the time. My machinist handbook, has a bookmarked page. What number drill do I need to pre-drill for quarter 20, right? That happens to be number seven. I've memorized that one, but I haven't memorized a lot of them. This is the fundamental building blocks that you're gonna need in the shop day in and day out. You're gonna probably know some of this. You might not. If you're coming in cold, this is gonna give you that broad overview that you're gonna need. So things like bluing and refinishing, TIG welding, I still haven't done that, and that would be so handy for a lot of the things that I wanna do. High temperature soldering is a very frequently used technique in manufacturing process, silver soldering, that kind of thing. Analytical thinking, firearms cycle of operation, just a really, really good broad fundamentals. Okay, now, what would I pick from that? So I've picked a few things, the bluing, the refinishing, the TIG welding, the high temperature soldering, I've done a little bit of that, but I'd really like to brush up on that. And then firearms, a cycle of operation. I know in detail how a bolt action works. I know the AR platform, but there's a lot of platforms that I don't know. So I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, on to machine shop and CNC. If I had to pick one, this is definitely my favorite. And this is really, really important because if you don't know how to run a lathe and if you don't know how to run a mill, 
you're gonna have, be at a competitive disadvantage, right? I'm in the process of getting ready to hire a machinist for my shop, and that person has to know how to run manual machines. In the future, we're gonna look towards CNC. Right now, these are the skills I'm gonna be hiring for. High-speed steel bit grinding. This is a, a really important one because it gives you a lot of flexibility in your shop at the lathe or if you're doing boring on the mill, that sort of thing. Uh, lathe tool setup, super, super important stuff. Different types of chucks, three jaw, four jaw, and how to dial those in quickly. At first, this stuff can seem really lengthy and really frustrating, but if there's someone there over your shoulder to tell you what to do or even to demo it for you and then have you try it, that's gonna save you so much time and increase your abilities and your efficiency, which is absolutely awesome. Machining basics, right? Turning and milling, reading measurement instruments, super important. You might have to go old school and read analog micrometers, right? Uh, or similar instruments, depth micrometers, those, those sorts of things. Um, in our shop, we have a blend of digital and, and analog. It's just a, 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 something that you have to be really, really comfortable with. Measure five times and cut once, right? As opposed to woodworking. <laughs> Drilling, tapping, parting, chambering and headspace. That's a, a really big one. With that in your tool belt, you'll be able to command much higher hourly rates for work that you do in your own shop or that you do in someone else's shop as opposed to someone that just knows general repairs, that kind of thing. Okay, so manual machining is covered really well. CNC machining, uh, lots of stuff here. Workpiece offsets, tool offsets, conversational programming, programming from blueprints, troubleshooting, advanced measurement, machining different types of materials with CNC equipment. This is where things really get unlocked. There's a lot of things that you can do with CNC equipment that you just can't with manual machines or it's in just, you know, prohibitively difficult and time consuming. Okay, so what are my picks? <laughs> I have some pretty good skills on the manual machining side, so I'm focusing entirely on CNC machining. Now I'm looking to get a CNC machine, you know, we have CNC laser equipment here in the shop and that's been an interesting learning journey. Uh, that's quite different than a CNC lathe or a CNC mill, and that's really what I need to start making uh, the parts and attachments, tooling fixtures, and then even to do things like chambering jobs on a larger scale. So I'm picking CNC machining. Okay, stock making. This is such a good one for rifle gunsmiths because there's a lot to it. There's different types of materials. There's different techniques. There's making stocks from scratch. There's inletting. There's barrel channel opening, right? There's pillar bedding. All these are things that are skills that are, are going to make you money and that are going to unlock some pretty powerful opportunities for you. And the further you go with this stuff and maybe pick a particular specialty like you know, bench rest or PRS rifles, it's going to treat you really, really well. So things are, that are covered include measurement and dimensions, right? Uh, completing a synthetic stock, duplicating a walnut stock. I would love to see that. Inletting, this is something that I do all the time. Either creating inlets from scratch, like I did on my Eddie Van Halen rifle, uh, including the bedding, or more frequently, adjusting inletting to accommodate different triggers or different barrels uh, you can even convert an inlet from one type of action, like a Remington 700, to another type of action, like a bat, bumblebee, or vampire, that kind of thing. So really, really good skills. And special tools. Some of these tools I need to get because sometimes when I go to inlet a stock, I get a bit frustrated. So I'm super interested to discuss and see what they have at CST for this stuff. Tool sharpening, bedding again. Bedding is a really important thing for accurate rifles. Uh, wood finishes stock layout designs, stock shaping, uh, including reshaping, and then accessory installation. Now, accessory installation is another one that I think there's a really great market for in a gunsmithing shop. What if you need to add QD cups to the side of a stock or whatever it happens to be? This is stuff that I do all the time. I'll drill new holes and I'll install a full length Arca rail on a stock that wasn't designed for it maybe reprofile the stock and add an Arca rail for a bench rest rig, right? This is fun stuff, it's practical, and it's a great way to make money as a rifle gunsmith. So, from this stock making 
program, my picks are betting because that's something that I'm working on perfecting. Still not entirely happy with my techniques for a production shop. Definitely wood finishes. Uh, I come from an automotive paint background, so I'm, I'm really excited to do polyurethane, for instance, and wet sand between layers and polish, some of those things, things that you don't see yet on my channel. Stock layout designs and stock shaping, right? This is stuff that I would love to learn more about. Okay, design and function. There's kind of two parts of this. There's the classroom education part, and then there's the design and function lab. So this is great to learn about each type of action. I mentioned this earlier in the video, including bolt action, lever action, pump action, muzzle loader, single shot, break open, recoil operated, and revolver. You know, really, really good stuff. And to understand those actions in detail gives you the leg up on other gunsmiths and is just an important fundamental, right? Design and functions lab, diagnostics, Cerakote. Now that's a really important one. That's a really, really good money maker. If I was to give people advice, which subsets of general gunsmithing to go in to get more specialized, building precision rifles and Cerakote are two that come to the top of the list in terms of what there's a great market for and what you can make great money with. Continuing with the design and function lab, refinishing, bluing, bedding, custom parts, real world lathe and mill techniques and more. This is really good stuff. So what are my picks? Lever action. I've gotten into lever action rifles and have started to look into gunsmithing. I've had customers ask me for taking a Henry and shortening it and other, you know, kind of related stuff. Really cool projects would be really great content for the channel, but I am a little lost with lever actions. I have never taken one apart. I don't know the internals frontwards and backwards. So that type of education would be really helpful. Recoil operated, definitely revolver. Would love to know more about timing mechanisms and gunsmithing techniques and operation, that sort of thing. Again, I understand the fundamentals, but I'd like to go deeper. In the design and function lab, the refinishing, bluing. Oh my word, I love bluing. My Weatherby Mark V, early 80s Japanese uh, iteration of that Mark V. Beautiful mirror, deep, dark bluing, beautiful walnut stock. I'd love to be able to recreate that and maybe even do stuff uh, full custom, including revolvers and rifles. A couple of things that I would find really interesting for that and probably a good market for my shop as well. Bedding is another one. As I mentioned, I'm looking to perfect my techniques for that. So that's a high level overview of the programs offered by the Colorado School of Trades. Now, if you wanna join the program or learn more about the curriculum, which I gave you the high level of, go to schooloftrades.edu. Also, as I mentioned, I'm gonna be going there in a couple of weeks. We're gonna be filming some awesome content that you're gonna see over the coming months. And if you have something specific you'd like to know about the School of Trades, drop a comment. Either I will respond or someone from the Colorado School of Trades will respond and we'll get your question answered. Are you a gunsmith in training or would you like to be? What are you thinking about for your career? Also drop a comment. I'd love to discuss that with you as well. This is really great stuff. Again, make sure you subscribe to the notifications because I'm gonna have more related content coming. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.